guns. My little 18s and a, 18 and a halfs. <laughs> Hookah. Ooh. Which one is that? Oh, okay, that's mine. Hold your horses. Patience is a virtue. When it comes to coffee, I like to drink my coffee slow. But in this case, it's a shot of drink it fast. LA is a place for me. <laughs> Do you see what I put up with? What's wrong with him? Watch this one. There's a new one down here. Follow me. I want you guys to see this one. Taking my text message. Maybe cross my eyes. Here comes Nikki, our ride right now, finally. What? I just texted you. I haven't gotten anything. I tried to call you even on your phone and nobody picked up. So what are you saying? I'm saying I didn't know you guys were here. We're here I've been now. circling on the outside. Well, we're here. I'm glad you're here. Weird dilemma, but we'll figure it out. Mm, I love that smell of smoke. Miss Paulson is very strong. See that purple pillow. Thank you. Okay, we're ready to go. All right. Giles onward home. Hey, it's Eric and Tanya. We're here at Buco de Pepo here in. Uh, I don't know where we're at because I think we're, Brea, we're on the road. Brea. Is this Brea? Brea, Brea right? Brea, yeah. Brea, Buca de Pepo. And um, we just ordered Caesar salad and baked rigatoni, a very good special item, both new on the menu. Um, also, I just wanted to say Tanya <laughs> has got these new underwear, They're, and they keep creeping up on your ass. <laughs> Show everybody. They kind of keep creeping up on your ass. Basically, to, to get them out, you need hot water. And it has to soak in hot water so you don't pull things off, just in case they mold it shut or weld it shut. And the second thing... After six hours on a plane. Ugh, it's like a grilled ugh. cheese sandwich. Yucky. Or the other thing, you, you have to use a pair of pliers and just rip them out. So tell me, how are you going to get your underwear out of your uh, front and back? With some pliers, some duct tape, bubble gum, and two toothpicks. So what are you going to do? Are you well, going to plug your nose and blow? It's almost like a surgical procedure to enter cautiously, make sure everything's cleaned out, and leave nothing behind. Risk of infection. Then you're going to bubble bath or you're just going to put some hydrogen peroxide on it? <laughs> How about some baking soda or some ammonia? I don't think I'm going to do that. 
think I'll use ammonia. I think I'll scrub it up. No, no rubbing alcohol. There might be some open wounds from the six hour flight. The face of God and an angel wing. See it in the middle?